Well, I am enjoying a midweek beer or five. Um, yes, I thought I should do a video uh, basically on the next gen console that I have pre ordered. Um, and I'm not really count. <laughs> well, I already have a next gen console, as in the Wii U, which is a pile of AIDS. Um, but yes, I have ordered, pre ordered a console um, from the next generation, so obviously that's either going to be a PS4 or an Xbox One and let's just say some of my um, let's just go through some of my reasons um, why I've chosen the console I've chosen um, some people will probably just you know know anyway um, but yes we'll zoom down here into this random picture there um, yes the reason I've chosen the console that I've chosen is because I feel that the company doesn't, although they're, they're, they're out to make money, I feel like they don't really rip me off like their com, 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 but yeah, competition. Um, and they don't charge for something that I feel that should just be free. Um, and if it's not going to be free, then you should just fucking factor it into the cost of the fucking console and stop milking people. Um, although, you know, the in the next gen that's kind of open to debate. Another thing is the company that I'm talking about, um, whilst they obviously release new consoles, um, for instance, going back to them, I don't really feel like I could be ripped off by them. Going back to that, um, their first ever console uses the same AV um, composite cable. Obviously nowadays we're using HDMI, but if you're rocking composite AV, um, this company still uses the same AV cables obviously um, as the original console I'm not sure about the next gen I don't care because we're all on HDMI anyway so it's relevant but I'm just saying that I don't really feel like I could be ripped off in you know oh here's a new console you're gonna have to buy a new lead for it even though it could have made the old fucking lead work shit like that you know that's what I'm saying um, and to be honest, I've not really looked at the games. I know people would be like, oh, well, what games are not bad games. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to get into fucking fanboy fucking slagging matches. You know what I mean? There's enough entertainment on, you know, both consoles with, you know, Call of Duty, Need for Speed, FIFA, all that chavvy general shit. You know, I don't, I don't feel like I need to choose a console on exclusives. I don't care if you've got this amazing one game. Um, you know, I'm not going to buy a console, you know, even though you're going to have my fucking pants down at every opportunity. Um, so yes, uh, what else is there? Uh, no, no, no. Yes, that's another thing, build quality, a massive thing. One of these companies, whilst it did have some problems with the uh, quality in its earlier consoles, um, the consoles that were it, the consoles in question felt like hefty quality units compared to the competition's pile of fucking plastic shit which had fucking more problems than you could shake a shit stick at. Um, so yes, the console that I pre-ordered, um, if I can go over here, was a PlayStation 4. And here is the 
Amazon fucking bundle choice page. Um, so yes, I just feel with the PlayStation that Sony don't, you know, whilst obviously they're after your money, A, the console's cheaper, B, I don't feel like I'm being fucking ripped off at every opportunity. I don't feel like they've suddenly, they might have played the cards, you know, kept their hand until late um, and just fucking blew my, Microsoft out of the water um, with all their DRM and you can't fucking borrow games bollocks um, like they weren't going to make any fucking money by having people sell second hand games um, yeah so I don't feel like I'm being ripped off in that way and then just you know in the past giving me PlayStation Plus you know you know like this month I've completed Far Cry 3 um, a game that I probably wouldn't have played well, I probably would have picked it up at some point for a couple of quid, but you know, it's an amazing game. Um, you pay 40 quid a year, and so long as you're subscribed, you get to keep these games for as long as you want. You can, you know, download them again, and it's an absolutely epic game. Um, other games Hitman Absolution, um, Little Big Planet 2. Uh, Resident Evil 5 was on it, although I didn't bother with that because I already played it. Uh, there was Mass Effect 2, I think. So, yeah, um, just an amazing service, and obviously, your online stuff is free. I know that with the PS4, you're going to be um, paying for your online via PS Plus as well. Um, but I don't feel like they've ripped me off like Microsoft just expect you to fucking run their servers for them when they could take it out of their fucking profit margins. Um, so yes, going on to the bundle that I've ordered now. As I said before, I've not really looked at the games um, because I'm looking at it from a brand um, point of view and which console I thought would give me the best value for money. Um, and just wouldn't irritate me as much. I mean, I want to play Killer Instinct on the Xbox One, and I'll probably have an Xbox One at some point, but I'm going to wait until it bombs, like the fucking Wii U did, because it, it fucking will, I tell you. Um, and then, I'll pick one up, and I'll play Killer Instinct, and I'll pay fucking half as much as all of the, uh, the Xbox fanboys, and... I will say I did own an Xbox 360 before I owned a PS3 and I owned both the original white Xbox and the Xbox Slim and I've also owned the original 60GB PS3 and I own a slim line PS3 now so I can say that I'm not just biased to PlayStation because I bought one of them first. I've owned an Xbox 360 first. It had fucking problems. I've got an Xbox 360 now. It's, it's not really got any problems, but it doesn't really fucking impress me either. I mean, having to like subscribe to live, play, pay 40 quid a year, or whatever, to play uh, Netflix and shit you're already fucking paying for in Sky. They're just taking the fucking piss with it. So Microsoft can go fuck themselves. And Windows fucking 8. That's another thing, or is it Windows fucking 7? I can't fucking remember. No, this is Windows 7, I think, I'm on here. My laptop, Windows 8, is a fucking pile of dog shit, tell ya. Um, you can't even have more than one instance of the calculator open, so you can't work out, like, 2 times 4 equals, and then be like, oh, I need to do whatever that is, plus 2 times 5. Yeah, you just can't do that on Windows 8. You know, are you expecting the company that's fucking ruined calculator? The most basic fucking thing with bits. You expecting them not to fucking have my pants down with a console? I don't fucking think so. So yes, um, let's just go through the bundles. So, you can get the vanilla console, 349. Um, I didn't really want to go for that because I want something to play. Uh, I'm not really bothered about it. it's Killzone Shadow, Shadow 4, but it does seem to be the cheapest game. So I didn't want that. 
that's just kill the basic console and kill zone. Watch dogs, everybody's been masturbating about that at home apparently, but I don't really care. Um originally I thought it was some sort of sequel to Sleeping Dogs, I don't think it is, but uh yeah, from what I saw of it I don't really care about it. It's just like a inferior thing to GTA five. Maybe with better graphics, but who cares? Um so this was originally was the bundle that I was going for, but I changed my mind. Battlefield 4, Killzone, Shadow, Shadow 4. I worked out, you know, you're paying, what is it, 74.99 for them two games. So I thought, fuck that. Um, and then I started contemplating this one here. 470, because you get a couple of controllers, the camera... Uh, Shadow Fall and FIFA 14, um, but then I realised there was this one here that was 430. You know, I originally stuck to this an option, but I changed it to this. Um, Killzone Shadow Fall, two controllers, PS4 camera. So it's basically this pack here, you're paying 40 quid for FIFA. And I just think that um, you're going to be able to pick up games for 40 quid um, not long after launch I reckon so uh, that was my thinking behind that I'm not just going to pay silly money out of the bat I, uh, I dismissed this bundle here um, because if if Need for Speed runs anything to go by then uh, that game's going to be worth about £5 <laughs> about three, three months after launch so yes um, I've ordered a, a PS3, I, I won't get it on launch day unless fucking some miracle happens because I've ordered it, pre-ordered it so late, I ordered it about a week ago but um, I only just got around to doing a video about it. Uh, I will pick up an Xbox One in the future no doubt but um, definitely the PS4 um, wins hands down for me. I just with Sony I don't feel like I'm being ripped off like I do with uh, Microsoft. I know people are bang on about how the money's put in servers and all this but I don't want to see money in servers, I want to see money in my pocket, smile on my face and uh, I don't think the online on the Xbox 360 is, is good enough to justify charging um, silly money for it so uh, yeah, pretty good that Drive Club's been um, delayed because that was supposed to be the first PlayStation Plus game, so I don't know what's going to happen uh, with regards to that. Um, because your PlayStation Plus uh, subscription is meant to run over and you can still get free games on the PS Vita, PS3 and PS4 like, simultaneously. So uh, That's the console I've ordered and I just thought I'd have a bitch about that shit. So, uh, let me know what console you've ordered and uh, yeah, the fucking Wii U isn't next generation, don't even try and fucking insult me because it's part of poke, yeah, alright, sorry, peace I mean, yeah, peace to the PS4, fuck you to everyone else, fuck you to the PS4, peace to everyone else, nobody wins.